Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at converting customary units of length. And the units of length that we're going to be using are feet, inches, yards, and miles. And as you can see, there are eight problems or eight conversions that we're going to go through together in order to help you get this down. So let's jump right into number one here, where we have two feet equals how many inches. And before I go any further, I want to mention up top in blue at the top of your screen are some very helpful reference notes here that you can use to take a look at when you're doing conversions. So let's take a look at number one, two feet, how many inches? Well, we know that one foot equals 12 inches, right? Think of a ruler, a ruler is 12 inches. So if you have two of those, we would have 24 inches. We need to do two feet times 12, right? We have two groups of 12 inches, which would give us 24 inches. So when we go from a larger unit of measure, a foot is larger than an inch. When we go from larger to smaller, we multiply. So keep that in mind. Number two, we're going from inches back to feet. So now we have 48 inches equals how many feet? Well, if we think about it, we need to split this 48 inches into groups of 12 because each one of those groups of 12 is a foot. So we're going to need to do 48 divided by 12. And 48 divided by 12 gives us four feet. And we went from a smaller unit of measure, inches to feet, so we used division. A smaller unit of measure to a larger, we use division. So for number three, we have six yards equals how many feet? Well, one yard equals three feet. So we have six of them. So we need to multiply this by three. So six times three equals 18 feet. And think of a yardstick. A yardstick has three feet. So if we had six of them lined up, it's going to be three plus three plus three plus three plus three plus three. I think I got six there, which it's just easier to do six times three, and that's 18. Number four, 24 feet equals how many yards? So now we're starting with feet and going to yards. So we need to split that 24 feet into groups of three, or we can think of it as dividing it by three. And 24 divided by three is eight. And you can always double check yourself by going back to feet. Let's see if eight yards is 24 feet. Well, eight times three does give me 24 because each one, of the, each one of those yards is three feet. So I could do eight times three, and again, it gives me that 24. Number five, five feet equals how many inches? Well, each one of those feet has 12 inches, right? And I have five groups of 12. So I'm going to do five times 12, which gives me 60 inches. Number six, six feet equals how many yards? So think, how many, uh, how many feet in one yard? Well, three. So how many groups of three can I pull out of that six feet? Or think of it as six divided by three. And that's going to give us two. So six feet equals two yards. Two yards equals how many yards? inches. Well, if we take a look up here at the top, one yard is 36 inches, which is three, one yard's the same as three feet, so 36 inches. So we need to do two times 36, two groups of 36. And if you think of it, a yardstick is 36 inches, so we have two of those. So two times 36, which is 72 inches. And lastly, 
miles to feet. So one mile equals 5,280 feet. So we have two groups of that, two groups of 5,280. So we need to do 5,280 times two. Or you could do 5,280 plus 5,280. So we would get 10,560 feet. And I don't think I can fit it in that space there, so I will draw an arrow. So there you have it. There's converting customary units of length involving feet, inches, yards, and miles. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.